Hi, I'm Julie. In this video, I'm going to present to you how to configure WordPress Gonzales plugin. First, let's install the downloaded package on your server. Extract the downloaded package. As you can see, the zip consists of documentation and the plugin itself. Unzip the plugin. Now you can move the plugin folder to your server. Open WP content slash plugins directory and move Gonzales there. Before we activate the plugin, I would like to introduce you the structure of the testing environment. It imitates a company website and consists of a few typical sections. About Us, a text-based page with information about the company. Gallery, company photos. Where we are, location map or street view. Contact, contact form. And members, containing BuddyPress page. Once we know the page structure, we're ready to activate the plugin and start optimization. Open plugin section. Then click activate next to the Gonzales plugin. Let's open the front page and see whether the new position has been added to the top menu. As you can see, the plugin has been successfully activated. Once you move your cursor over the menu, you will see a list of CSS and JS files loaded on the current site. The menu is divided into two sections, JS in the top and CSS in the bottom. Enable JS and CSS files are marked as green, disabled as red. As you can notice, it's easy to identify resources because additional tooltip will appear once you move the cursor over elements. Once you move your cursor over a certain resource, you will see the following choices. 1. Load file everywhere. It's the default option. 2. Disable CSS slash JS only on current page based on current URL. 3. Disable CSS and JS everywhere. And 4. Enable CSS and JS only on current page based on current URL. You can mix option 1 with 2 and 3 with 4, but I'll explain that later in this video. Now, let's open Chrome and inspect how the website works before optimization. Let's open developer tools. To show how optimization of CSS and JS resources is important, I will stimulate page loading on a typical mobile connection speed. Let's refresh the page and see how long it will take to load the page before optimizations. Looks like the page loaded in 10 seconds. In this time, 851 kilobytes has been loaded. Quite a lot. Each kilobyte matters in case of mobile devices, so it's worth it to make your website as lightweight as possible. Let's decrease their values using Gonzales. Go back to the front page. Let's open Gonzales menu and see what's inside. Warning, list of scripts and style sheets can be different on each page. Usually you won't see any changes on different pages, but it's worth it to know that such a situation may occur. You may be a little nervous seeing these non-human friendly names of styles and scripts, but don't worry. Once you place your cursor over an element, a pop-up with the detailed file path will appear. With such information, you will easily identify the plugin name and define what to do with it. Here we have JavaScript file added by BuddyPress plugin, and here, contact form 7 file. Here by just social plugin, and photo gallery here. You can see a similar situation in the CSS section. Resource names are almost identical, like from JavaScript section. Let's optimize the first page. It will be contact. As you probably noticed, the only page where contact form has been generated is this page. That's why it's a good idea to find contact form 7 resources and make them active only on contact page. By default, it's active everywhere. Check disable everywhere section and mix it with enable here. Such a state will allow contact form 7 script to only attach on contact page. Let's refresh the page and check whether script is enabled. Now go to a different page, for example front page, and check whether the script has been disabled. Full success! Script is marked as disabled. You learned how to display resource on one page only. Let's see how it affected your timings and number of requests. Before optimization, there was 52 requests and 851 kilobytes of data transferred. Let's see how it is after the page reloads. Here it is. 
There is one request less and saving in transfer on level of 25 kilobytes. Well done. We excluded JavaScript, but remember, there's contact form style sheet attached too. Procedure is the same. Disable the CSS everywhere except current page. Let's open some page different, then contact and see results. Again, full success. CSS is marked as red on front page. Let's see how we increased website performance. 50 requests and 826 kilobytes before. Forty nine requests and eight hundred twenty four kilobytes after. Maybe size decrease wasn't impressive, but we have one request less to worry about. Now let's take care of gallery page. It's another page where plugin will do its job only on one page, so the situation will be similar to the contact one. We must localize gallery scripts and styles and make it enable for current page only. We've just disabled a few JavaScript files. Let's do the same with styles. Remember that if you're not sure, you can always wait for Tooltip to ensure you are operating on the correct file. Done. Let's refresh the page and make sure we didn't destroy anything. Galleries are visible. Scripts loaded correctly. Yep, everything is working like it should. Now check whether gallery files have been correctly unloaded on other pages. Seems like they correctly excluded. Let's see how big a profit we reached on the website performance. 49 requests and 824 kilobytes before. 41 requests and 727 kilobytes after. That's 97 kilobytes and 8 requests less. It's a big difference. Let's take care of the next page in which map component is available. The same situation with BuddyPress page. Let's open the front page and see what optimizations we can apply there. You may experience a situation where the plugin is not used anywhere but is loaded. An example of such a plugin is Master Slider, which was used earlier on the site, but currently there's no slideshow components. In such a case, we just disable it on the entire website. Let's see what optimization profit we've achieved. 41 requests and 727 kilobytes before. 
30 requests, 586 kilobytes after. That's 141 kilobytes less and 11 requests less. Let's see which additional plugins are not used on the front page. There's no social buttons under articles, so sociable can be turned off here. This 2015 script is also unwanted on the site. Similar situations with CSS. Don't want to waste customers' bandwidth. We don't support old Internet Explorers, too. Refresh the page to check that everything renders like before. Moment of truth. 30 requests. 586 kilobytes before. Twenty four requests, five hundred fifty eight kilobytes after entire website optimization. It's a big difference in comparison to the unoptimized page. Let's turn off Gonzales and see how it was before. Then we'll compare the results. Now let's open the front page and note the results. With Gonzales enabled, 24 requests, 558 kilobytes in 6.8 seconds. With Gonzales disabled, 52 requests, 851 kilobytes in 10.1 seconds. The difference is impressive. 28 requests less, 54% better, 293 kilobytes less data, 34% better, 3.3 seconds faster, 34% better. I hope you will see even better results on your WordPress site. Thanks for watching!